traders, it's uh, Graham here from Kilted Trading again. Um, just thought I'd give you guys a quick uh, glimpse at one of the systems I've been looking to, to make available. It's uh, looking like it's going to produce uh, some fantastic results, so I just wanted to share that with you guys quickly. And also look at the Pfizer trade uh, we took earlier on the week. Um, so first up, uh, we'll dive straight in. Um, the system that I'm working on currently is um, the Kilted Nessie uh, system. Now the reason I've named it that is sort of way the sort of pattern uh, sort of works that we're looking for. So it's a mean reversion type system. So markets typically send, you know, spends anywhere between sort of 60-70% of the time uh, moving sideways. So this system is looking to uh, take advantage of that and then look at taking some trades when it actually moves into a trend. So here you can see the sort of shape we're sort of looking for here, which is our sort of sideways market and it's either going to break to the upside or break to the downside. But while it's in this period of what we'd call consolidation, we're looking to actually take some trades here. And what we're doing is we're looking for a particular repeating pattern in the market to take these uh, trades. So it's a little bit more advanced um, in terms of your entry sort of um, setup. Uh, there are, it's still a rule-based system, which is exactly what you want. So it's uh, definitely not discretionary. Um, so let's get into having a look at some uh, setups and, and what it looks like. So first of all here, um, you can see I'm on the daily chart and I've got the 30 minute chart. We generally are taking positions off the 30 minute chart. So it's more of a scalping type um, strategy, uh, but one that I found to be uh, very, very profitable. So with the scalping trades, this is what we'd call the bankers. You're really looking for sort of quick wins. Um, you're not looking for the swing trades. We are going for maybe two, three, four, five R. Um, this is um, this is a banker. This is one that's going to pay pay the bills at the end of the month. And you're looking to sort of um, generally be sort of four out of five days in in profit. Um, is our sort of goal on this one. So if we look at some trades on the 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 euro uh, as an example uh, and how those uh, present. But first of all, um, it's probably worth mentioning, um, you know, what it looks like in terms of the side mar sideways market. So we're really looking to trade liquid pairs like Euro USD, uh, the cable, which is GBP USD, and those uh, types of currency pairs on this system because you want um, the the swap to be be quite low uh, in terms of uh, pips. So those um, liquid pairs will, will give you that, especially for uh, scalping, you don't want too much slippage. So if we look at um, this, so if here's, I've drawn a line here just for the interests of, of time. Since the 1st of May, April, uh, Euro USD has basically been moving sideways because you can see here, I've drawn a couple of lines here, it's in a sort of um, period of consolidation that's starting to restrict right down here. You can see this price tightening up within this sort of range here. Um, so what this system's doing is, is looking to take advantage of that, but albeit on the lower time frame. So you can see there an indicator, um, it it's works very well with the kilted strength meter uh, in terms of using it for, for your rules of when the market's going sideways and obviously um, when it's in a trend. So we can take uh, advantage of both of those um, market structures. So if we first of all go to the 30 minute chart here, we'll look at the Euro USD and what the rules are that would make uh, a valid trade setup. So effectively what we have here, we've got the, you've got the kilted Nessie sort of trigger here looking um, at painting a, a setup for, for review. So what you do is you would uh, be looking to see your, your, your daily to see, uh, you know, we're moving, have we been moving sideways? Um, yes, we have. On the 30 minute time frame, then you're looking to take advantage. So the way the system works is you're basically looking to see where it paints a signal. You're saying, OK, is the thick white line below the thin white line? OK, if it is, then you're moving sideways and the, the trade setup is valid. 
So you basically have a setup, what we call a setup bar, and you have the trigger bar. So you can see here you've got the red dot to go short and you'd have the blue dot to go long. So you'd place your entry just below the break of this um, uh, trigger bar and the stop would go um, just above the, the setup bar, which is just above here. So that would have been um, sort of the last hour or so of uh, trading on, on Friday on the in the US session. You would have taken a, a short here you maybe wouldn't have taken a short, depending on how close you were to, you know, the, the end of uh, the day. You can see that there's been probably, what, that one, two, three, four. Yeah, that's about five hours. So that's that's taken a little while to play out, but it's heading in the right direction. Uh, and you're basically looking for, because it's a mean reversion trade, you're not looking to be greedy. You're basically looking for a one-to-one -one reward, risk to reward uh, ratio. So that's uh, an example of the rule. So the rules are pretty basic. Um, but what you can do is when the market's actually in a trend, and um, we've actually coded into the system uh, here, uh, again, like some of our, uh, our other indicators, you've got pin bars, inside bars, swing high, swing lows. You can paint those all in the chart to take advantage of, guess what? When the market goes into these little bursts of the upside moves, you can take a pin bar setup. For example, here, you're basically getting pinged and saying on a kilt of strength meter saying, hey, we've got a trend, where's it going? Okay, it's going up to the upside. Okay, you might want to trade off um, the swing low here, or you might want to trade off this uh, pin bar to go long. Again, one-to-one -one risk to reward ratio, and um, lots of really good setups um, for, for, for um, when the trend's actually in play on this one. So, but as I say, um, you know, you can trade it your own way where we do allow you, uh, we do provision the, the inside bars and um, pin bars so you can take advantage of the, the trend. Um, but the purpose of this, um, this webcast is uh, to show you guys how we trade um, the sideways market with, with this particular system. So if you look at a few other setups here, um, we've got one here which is a good one um, where you've got the the uh, trigger bar here, you've got the setup bar, so our stop loss goes here, we've got a trigger, our uh, entry point here, and we've got a take profit here. So you can see that one was hit really quickly. That was within half an hour, guys. Uh, approximately half an hour, just over probably half an hour, that would have been, um, that would have been hit, probably on that bar. Um, so you can see how profitable this one is and it's looking for particular patterns in the market and it's, uh, it's I guess, a little bit more advanced um, sort of trading strategy in terms of looking for these patterns in the market. Um, so there is a, a, a lot more behind the algorithm in, in this one. Um, but it's, it's looking to be um, a fantastic um, uh, strategy from uh, what I've seen. I've just gone back here, I think probably a couple of weeks, and on the, the Euro, I was up uh, 4.5R. Um, so if I say risking, you know, if I say $1,000 a trade, I would be up $4,500. Um, I also um, back tested it on the GBP USD and I was up 0.5R. So if it's the same again, if I was risking a thousand dollars a trade, I'd be at five hundred dollars. So both in the both in positive territory. And um, so let's have a look at some other setups uh, here. Uh, I think this one actually looks like a failed setup. Uh, so which is always good to show you guys because uh, there's no point in showing you just you know cherry picking the good setups. Let's have a look at one that actually failed because every system is going to paint losers, right? Make most no mistake about that. Don't listen to all the podcasts and the, the promises you get on these seminars. They show you the, you know, all these great setups and you think, oh, wow, I'm just going to buy this thing. Well, guess what? When you get it, you're going to, you might even have a, you know, start a run of losing trades. So, we, we like to, to be upfront and sort of honest and show you some failed setups as well. So uh, I think here's one here. So if we've got our entry point here, we've got our, uh, we're painting a long, um, a long, well, actually it would have been this one here because we'd be trading left to right, obviously. And one of the rules is when you're in a trade and another signal points, 
are, are pains and you don't take the trade you, you know you don't take another trade while you're in uh, one trade and that, that's a good example here so this first stop would have pointed would have had an entry probably around here we'd have a stop loss just before um, or just under our um, setup bar here and you can see it never quite reached it. it it tried but it didn't and then it went moved against you so that would have been a losing trade and um, but you can see that the, the stop is actually uh, the stop is actually quite tight on this one um, which is a good thing and um, but still it's a you know one-to-one -one risk reward it would still be a loser so let's look at some more setups uh, quickly um, now the reason I haven't marked any sort of uh, long and shorts on this one, it actually didn't make the rules. So you can see here, we painted a long, well, we've actually painted two longs here, both here and here, but you can see here, we're going into an uptrend, okay? And um, so you might have wanted to, to trade a, um, sorry, we're going into um, a downtrend, right? So you might have actually wanted to, to, to play a, um, so that's an inside bar here. So you might have wanted to actually play a short on the break of this this bar here, okay? Where you've ticked up. So you see you've painted here. You're saying, okay, we're we're um, we're ticking up into a trend, and the trend is down. Therefore, you might say, okay, I want to um, trade off this um, uh, inside bar basically on a break of the parent bar. So you might have got in here, for example. So trading inside bars are really, really good. So let's see where that would have went. Risk to reward, we just need to pull this over a little bit. And of course it draws this extra long one here. So let's scale back along. And we would have taken profit. Okay, so you can trade your inside bars. Uh, if you don't know how to trade inside bars or pin bars, I, I will um, show you that in, in another video, probably when we actually release uh, this system, because uh, it does uh, present some excellent setups if you know how to trade price action, um, which is really good. Um, so guys, you, you, you probably get the gist of how the system works. Um, it's very, very mechanical. There's, um, you know, there's no discretion involved. You're basically seeing the setup. Does it does it meet the rules? Yes, it does. You're in a trade, okay? And um, it's again, it's looking for specific patterns in the market, um, and you, you can trade it obviously with your kilted strength mirror as well, because it works on any time frame. So here's a good example where I'm showing, illustrating where you would want to perhaps get into a trade using the kilted strength mirror. Um, so you're blending, I guess, a couple of strategies into to one. Um, so here it's painting, it's painting a couple of longs here, uh, but you know, um, we're sort of, sort of touching the, we're almost touching this white line. Would you take it? Mm, probably not. Um, and then you've got, you know, this uh, tick of a trend, and it's basically to the downside. Um, so I've just painted one here where you're taking. Um, well, I'm trying, I've actually showed both here. It's an interesting one, this setup, right? So if you'd taken this um, long setup here, the Kilted Messi long, you would have actually got a winner, okay? And then you got out of that trade, and then shortly thereafter, you could have taken this one, which was um, the, the short here. So you could have said, okay, on the break of where this one's painting, um, you could have got in a short here and got a one-to-one -one are there as well. So that, look, there's a number of different ways to, to trade this one. Um, I'm just trying to show you the the kilted Nessie sort of um, setups, both uh, long and short. So uh, stay tuned for that one. Um, so yeah, that's a, a quick glimpse at uh, what I've been looking at. Um, it's looking really good at the moment. I'm quite excited about this one. So I'll do a lot more back testing on that one. Now, I just wanted to finish up with uh, looking at our Pfizer trade, which you had last week. Um, some of you would have probably noticed that I did paint uh, or did um, comment on this trade during the week. And we put a stop loss on at uh, 37, it, it was, um, with an entry. We had an entry at 35.78. 
um, which I sort of called in the one of the uh, the last uh, sort of webcasts. Um, now the reason why you might be saying, well, Graham, why did you put a stop loss there? Well, th there is a reason for that, right? So we were really nice and profit, right? So and it met all the rules. There was nothing that was broken, right? So and we. If you guys um, didn't, if you missed taking moving that stop loss, um, you're actually okay. And um, the market, as we know, rallied on Friday, but it could have equally went the other way. Um, and that's what I was protecting against. I didn't want to lose out on a good trading decision that I'd made. Now, the reason why I took the, the view of moving the stop to 37, it closed out at 38.5. I think that was on... Wednesday, Wednesday or Thursday, and we we're in really nice profit. But what you can see here is we basically had some overhead resistance. Now, I've just drawn in some of these lines here, right? So we were sort of approaching this sort of period of resistance. Now, uh, my target was, you know, around about the 40, and um, because that's the sort of upper level, I was looking at this resistance line here um, and see what it does price action wise. But the reason I got a little bit twitchy on this one was not just because we've got overhead resistance here, we're starting to sort of come into, you can see we're right on that sort of resistance and um, to see how it reacts. But we did have obviously some economic reports coming out of the US in terms of the non-farm payroll uh, and unemployment figures as well, which were setting up to be uh, pretty horrific actually uh, and that's what would uh, that's what came through um however uh, the reason why i'm laughing is because this uh, the artificial uh, propping up of the s p 500 meant that it uh, it just raced ahead i mean it's just the final logic at the moment so and um, that's why we have to be a little bit careful in these times guys to to lock in our profits and that's why i actually moved our stop loss up to 37 to protect the trade in case it went you know it went really far south and um, one of the other things um i noticed is um we've got this downtrend sort of in play here as well so you can see dependent you know it's very um subjective where you draw your sort of trend lines you could have picked it here and said okay we're a fair bit away but then you could have taken out this this you know that could have been a bit of a stop run uh, if you like, you'd have probably more drawn it here. So we've sort of, you know, um, got ahead just above this trend line here. So we could come back and then retrace uh, and, you know, further uh, upside. Um, who knows? Um, I'll probably be quite interested again to see what happens around this level here. But for now, uh, I'm out this trade, taking some quite nice profit. And uh, we were up 3.4%. Uh, and that was a matter of 12 trading days. So uh, again, you know, depending on how much you guys are risking on some trades, um, you know, that's uh, super funds are looking at, you know, the magic 6% six, 6 a year. You've made 3.41% in 12 days, guys. <laughs> and so uh, that for me is a, is a great trade. Um, a lot of Forex traders would be quite happy with 3-4% uh, um, uh, per month, never mind 12 trading days. So that was a really good trade, uh, guys. Uh, I called it live. Um, hope you guys um, have taken um, some profit or indeed you might be still in that trade. If you are still in that trade, I would advise, you know, setting your stop loss. We, we've, we closed out. Okay, I got stopped out at 37. The market's raced ahead, but it hasn't really done a whole lot. It's going up 20, 22 cents. So you're still, you know, quite comfortably in, in that trade if you're still there, but I would be looking at this overhead resistance and um, taking a little bit of risk off the table, guys, and moving your stops up um, a bit closer, you know, even even where we are at here. So even if we moved our stop to maybe, you know, around here, if you guys are a bit more conservative and want to let this thing run, not, that's not an issue. Just that even if you move your stop here, you're still going to be taking uh, profit. So, uh, that's always a nice position to be in when you can say a stop loss, uh, you know, good to cancelled and you just let the thing run and uh, knowing that you're you're not going to lose money. So that's another way to play. So I think that's a wrap for this week, uh, guys. Thanks for listening. Uh, as always, uh, stay safe. 
uh, look after your families and we will look forward to the trading week ahead thanks guys